Hello, in this video I am going to show you how I build my DMG 104. We start by marking where the X and Y buttons are going to be with this custom template I made myself. Now it's time to drill out the holes and also cut out the frame for the bottom screen. Next we cut out a slot where the hinge of the G via SP shell will be put in. Now we glue the two parts together and make sure they are aligned. The client wanted a slider pad instead of a D-pad. I am reusing the stylus holder of a DS shell to make it fit inside the Game Boy shell, so you don't lose that stylus constantly. Now we work on the back of the shell, cutting out the battery holder. Cutting out some small rectangles from the battery holder and using that to thicken the walls of the cartridge slot. Now dremeling it out so that Game Boy Advance cartridges will fit inside the slot. Next we drill out some holes for the shoulder buttons. Let's not forget to also cut out a slot for the DS cartridge slot. Need some trimming done by hand. Another part of the DS shell I am reusing is the battery holder, so it's going to be trimmed out and glued and using some pieces of plastic as support. Now gonna install the shoulder buttons, rubber tacked buttons on a small piece of breadboard screwed onto a piece of plastic will hold it in place. Now we are going to take a DS light apart, but I am going to skip that part because it's boring. Instead of using wires to extend the G via slot, I am using this G via slot ribbon cable made by Natalie the Nerd because it saves a lot of work, so go check her website out. For the DS card slot we are going to use wires, at least it has less pins to solder than the G via slot. For the volume, I am using a 10k ohm volume wheel. Before we get to the headphone jack, you first have to solder these two pins together so the microphone can work and if you don't want to use the headphone jack at all, you have to solder these two pins together, otherwise the DS thinks you have headphones plugged in. Ok now we can get to the headphone jack and solder wires to it. The board is ready now to be installed into the back shell. We first glue the G via slot in place, next the volume wheel and then the DS cart slot. Now we wire up the battery holder wires and screw the board in place. Now soldering the wires from the shoulder buttons, LEDs and power buttons in place. That green light is a good sign so far. The next part is a little complicated, but we have to swap the screens around now. That's because the bottom LCD is the only screen that will fit inside the G via SP shell, so we have to swap the screen lens and the touch panel from each screen, each is attached again with double-sided tape.
For the touchscreen ribbon cable, you need to stick a small piece of electrical tape on top of it, otherwise it won't be thick enough to sit tight inside the small breakout board connector. Time to install the top screen. Have to trim some of the inside to make it fit. Have to fold the ribbon cable over and then again at an angle so it can curl up into the hinge part and then we screw the top screen together. The bottom screen is installed with some double-sided tape at the top and bottom edge. Here I am relocating the magnet switch that activates the sleep mode when you close up a DS light. I have put a small magnet in just above the top screen so it works the same like a DS light. Now we start wiring up all the parts in the front shell to the motherboard that is going to take a while. Gonna skip the rest of all the soldering work because this video is too damn long already so let just get to the damn finish line and close it up. So here is the finished DMG 104.